All right, so now we're gonna measure the uh, piston ring gaps here. And grab a new piston out. And that's not my pistons. All right, I'll be right back. All right, got our pistons here. I'm gonna grab a top ring here. The uh, on this particular brand, uh, it has a little dot, and that's how you know it's the top ring. So I'm just gonna shove this in here. Like so. Grab one of our pistons. Just a little bit, not too much. Sorry for the bad lighting, but it's in there. Let's get our uh, filler gauge here. Let's do it. And we're sitting at 0.5, which is pretty good. It's in spec. I'll roll with it. I like it. Let's uh, ring all these pistons up. All right, so I got my pistons here. Let me install in the rings. Uh, I'm gonna work from the bottom up. I'll worry about the gaps later before I put the pistons in the block. But I'm gonna take an oil ring. And it's gonna... Give me that on there. Like so. So. All right, so now the thinner rings are the uh oil control rings they go on the bottom as well Now these, I don't like how that gap is right there. Move that. Just all the second one. And that's installed. So this is the bottom compression ring. It doesn't have a dot or anything. It's just blank. Uh. And we use a ring expander here. Like so. And perfect. And our top compression ring. This one has a little dot. You probably won't see it on camera, but it's there. You want the dot to face up. Boom. And the first one is done. Perfect. Now uh, we'll set the gaps and all that uh, right before we set it in there. 
I'm gonna go do the other seven and then yeah we'll come back to where I'm installing these into the engine all right so I got my pistons here uh, the notch at the top of all the pistons should face towards the front of the engine top ring gap top ring gap faces spark plug second ring faces the opposite uh, top oil ring faces spark plug second oil ring faces the opposite and then the oil control ring just faces any uh, one of the piston gaps or piston pins you want to do I don't know why because I know these pistons move around once the engines but that's what they say let's install the uh, rod bearings here I didn't clean these. Let me clean these real fast. Alright, so I'm gonna put the bearing on the piston here. Just like with the crank bearing. Just press it nice. Even in there. And my little manual said to get some dry grab type blue and spray the bearings along with. I guess to make it easier, we're using the grease on here. We'll do that there. So we should be ready to drop this in here. Now, I wish I would have had some uh, tubing to put on these, but I'm gonna try and be very careful and let me actually uh, put some. Uh, WD-40 down in here, clean this out. Might have to move the crank to get it to line up. Okay, lined up good. I'm not gonna smash into the crank. Let me get the ring compressor. Piston number one is installed. Take a cap, put a new bearing on. Take the old bearing off. Clean our new bearing.
Spray it down. Some grab type glue. All right, so now we got to torque all the connecting rods back down. Um, there's a torque spec form. I believe it is, ah, here we are. Let's highlight it. First torque them to 10 foot pounds, then 20, then 30, and then all the way, then finals are 45 foot pounds. So let's get to doing that. Okay. Got a torque wrench set to 10 foot pounds. I'm just gonna start here. There we go. two days trying to figure out why once I tightened down the uh, the caps here the crank would not want to turn at all I had it with a uh, my breaker bar with extension pipe thing did not want to turn at all I didn't know what was going on uh, doing research they were saying you know that happens if your 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 uh, caps get mixed up but like these caps I did not mix them up. I didn't have no issues with that. They stayed exactly with the same rise. They were saying if your bearings are bad, I used plastic gauge. They came out fine. There was inspect. And then I finally realized the caps, the direction they go on the rod matters. You can't flip them around. And at that point, I was like, how do I figure out which you know direction they go and then I did some research and found out that every rod has a little symbol on it let me see if I can get a oh come on focus all right so this rod here has these like if this thing will focus <laughs> these like little triangles on them and then all right this one you might be able to see see those little weird images on them yeah every rod has a different image on them like those ones look like diamonds but uh yeah those ones look like clovers 
anyway those are how you can tell if you mix up your rods now the crank finally turns we're gonna end this video off here i mean this was bothering me it's getting me upset but i'm glad it's done so we can finish building this engine back together i gotta get the oil pump on the camshaft in and some more stuff so uh thanks for watching like and subscribe leave comments if you got any questions with your 5.2 build or 5.9 magnum build let me know i've been i spent so much time on this engine i'm pretty good i know it pretty well um uh, yeah thanks for watching see y'all next time